Well, here to talk more about Super Bowl 50 is our sports correspondent, Chris Harrington. So, yes. <laughs> Chris, the Denver Broncos won the game 24 10. Is yes. that uh, pretty much what you were expecting? or uh, You know, I, I'll today? be honest, keep it above board. No, I was actually uh, thinking, like many others out there, the Carolina Panthers would prevail in this one. But the Denver Broncos managed to prove that old cliche right, that offense wins games, but it's the defense that wins the championships. I mean, the Denver Bronco defense was kryptonite to Cam Superman Newton. They were putting pressure <laughs> on him all night. They sacked him seven t times. That's more than it is most... As the the most that any other team has done in the Super Bowl. And plus, he was never really comfortable. You know, he couldn't really get things going, gelling in his offense. He had the orange crust coming from both sides to Marcus Ware, Vaughn Miller. He, it was just unbelievable. Too much for him to deal with. Too much for him to deal with. Okay, so defense, super important in yeah, this definitely. game. Now, the most valuable player in this case, it did not go to a quarterback as it right. had many times in the past. It went to a defensive player. Is that the right choice in your opinion? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, they're talking about maybe this is Peyton Manning's last game. And if they would have given it to him, it would have been a travesty because he didn't really do anything to win the game. He just <laughs> didn't lose the game. The difference maker was Vaughn Miller. I mean, he was unbelievable. Two and a half sacks, two forced fumbles. One of those fumbles led to a touchdown. The other one set up a touchdown. The final score was 24-10. Do the math. I mean, take that away. It's 10-10. It's an even game. So it definitely should have gone to a defensive player. You know, you have to give it up for the defense. And Von Miller, spectacular performance from him. So Peyton Manning basically stayed out of the way. What's next for him? Is it uh, retirement time for him? Well, you know, he's already in the history books, okay, in the NFL. He has the most in NFL history, career passing yards and touchdown passes. But more importantly, he's the first quarterback in NFL history to win Super Bowls with two different teams. And then at home during Thanksgiving, he has something to talk about his brother. Now he and his brother both have two rings. I think it'll be a great walk away for him because, in all honesty, his performance during the season subpar okay he led the league in interceptions it's his 200th win his victory he should definitely go out you know that way i would say okay well what about the uh, carolina panthers uh, they you know they were looking really strong there yes, uh, many yes. people did think they might win uh, cam newton is he going to be uh, back on the big stage anytime soon right well he just won the mvp right Coincidentally, in 2013, Peyton Manning won the MVP, and they had the best offense, but they lost the Super Bowl. So it's kind of the same thing with Cam Newton this year, and I think Cam Newton is definitely a winner. I mean, I think he will rebuild, learn from his mistakes. He's only in his mid-20s. He has his whole career ahead of him. I think he'll rebound and be all right. Okay, well, uh, where did you watch the game? I mean, we're talking, we're, we're here in Europe. We're, uh, right? you know, hours behind. Uh, you must have been up all night watching. Yeah, that. I was. It was an all-nighter for me. You know, I have to be honest, maybe I'm a little a little tired, <laughs> but it's okay. You look um, great, though. I, I, went, uh, I appreciate it. <laughs> um, I went to a nice little um, Irish pub called Offside, you know, in the local area here. And coincidentally, there was a an American football team that plays here in Berlin called the Rebels, and they were all there. And, you know, it was a nice atmosphere, actually. Everyone was very familiar with the game. You had people on both sides rooting for both teams. You know, I love the atmosphere. It kind of felt like I was back in the States because everyone was well-informed about football in that area. Well, what about the halftime? Did you get to watch the halftime uh, entertainment? Was there... um, no, no, but I did watch uh, one commercial that, that was entertaining, <laughs> and, and I would suggest anyone go out there. I think they won, you know, the award for Doritos. It, it was an online, you know, advertisement, uh -huh. and I would suggest anyone go out. It was a pretty entertaining uh commercial advertisement but in terms of halftime I mean, I mean i just try to get as much as i can eat during the game like everyone else and just you know <laughs> super bowl 50 uh you know this is obviously a landmark for the whole history of, of the super bowl right in in europe uh is there is there a is there a group of people who really care about uh, american football I and mean, we're, we're here at, at dwtv we're talking about soccer right all right, the time which right. is also called football very confusing for people but american football does anybody watch that here in europe yeah, definitely. It, you know, because it, when you look at the stats last year, I mean, obviously the full statistics aren't out, but last year they had about 20 million viewers outside of the United States. And I think because there was so much build up to this game, I mean, the polarizing quarterbacks, you know, it was a story, you know, the young guy and, uh, versus the old quarterback on his way out. You know, so I think definitely, I mean, the bar th that I was in, attended, was packed, and I'm sure it was packed in many other local places. Everybody can, ap can appreciate that. Chris Harrington from our sports desk, we appreciate you being with us this morning. All right, thank you. Thank you.